Welcome back to Speed Hack, hosted by myself, Kevin Fallon, and Dave Dombrow. Today's hack is focused on the New Balance Minimus Trail 10. And when we talk about minimal shoes, this has to rank near the top of the list. Absolutely. The original version of this shoe debuted in the spring of 2011. Wow. That's an eternity in our industry. And it really hasn't changed much since. The same super iconic design with a breathable upper and a great mix of materials using a proven Vibram compound for optimized grip. I remember uh, how excited I was when I saw the original version of this shoe. I actually remember being at OR in Salt Lake and it definitely cut through the noise. New Balance was really one of the first companies to fully drive minimal footwear with the Minimus line. I remember some others, the, the Merrill Trail Glove, and of course the uh, Vibram Five Fingers also come to mind. Right, but our mission today is to make this shoe faster. Minimal shoes can move really well with your foot and even help strengthen your foot, but that doesn't necessarily equal speed. That's right, Kevin. We want to make a sprint spike for the trail, if you will. Something that's fast, it's nimble, while still keeping the uh, DNA of this great shoe. After running the Minimus Trail, there are two main areas we want to try and tune. First up, flex. We need to stiffen this shoe up for better energy transfer. As this shoe has a relatively thin midsole, our best option is going to be to bottom load the plate. From some of our past experiences on sprint spikes and soccer plates like the Puma V110, mm -hmm. we know that bottom loading carbon can give us the snap and pop that we need. Another benefit of bottom loading the plate is that it will actually act as a rock plate diffusing any sharp terrain. But as it's carbon, we'll need to make sure the plate is fully covered. Carbon is pretty prone to cracking with point loads like sharp rocks, mm -hmm. and that's where the specialized mountain bike tire comes back into play. But this time we will adhere the mountain bike tire directly to the carbon. So what we basically just described is a pure speed machine, right? A forest rocket, if you will, stripped down to only what you need. I like the sound of that. And here's an exploded view uh, showing all the changes uh, that we discussed. All right, so we have done the speed hack, and now it's time to turn it over to our rabbit. As you know, the rabbit will run both shoes, the original and the speed hacked version, and tell us what they think. Yeah, it felt a lot, a lot similar in terms of the minimalism, but it also did feel like it was a little bit more protective as well. It was a lot easier, especially on the really, really wet kind of muddy spots, yeah. to feel like you're still gripping the ground. Yeah, so you could definitely feel like a bottom change. Correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I ran a little bit faster on yeah. the downhill knees than I did in the previous pair, okay. but it definitely felt like I was hanging on a little bit better. As we saw, the Rabbit has run both shoes and the feedback is in. The testing conditions were very wet and the Rabbit felt they had much more overall control in the hacked pair, specifically giving them more confidence for speed on the downhill sections. We believe that the carbon plate acted as a midfoot, forefoot stabilizer, not unlike a sway bar in a car. And in this specific conditions, when it was really wet, this traction from the mountain bike tire was quite a bit more aggressive and really helped in the muddy terrain. So I hope you all enjoyed the Minimus Trail Hack, or as we like to call it, the Sprint Spike for the Trail. Come back soon to see our next Speed Hack.